because I just took their tower. So I'm going to ult, and then I'm going to come in, I'm going to focus on Valir first, then I'm going to focus on Kufra, and then I'm going to continue to push. Oh, Uranus is here. He doesn't stand a chance now, though. <laughs> Why is this guy so mad? I'm winning the game for him. Uh, I don't have uh, ultimate, but I have enough lifesteal, and I've got the squishy that I should be able to uh, take Lord down by myself relatively soon. Yep, there we go. Um, and uh, since Lord's pushing middle, and my team, their team, I mean, is completely not paying attention to my push top, they're there as five, I might be able to just sneak into the base and win the game. Base. Yep, there it goes, straight down. That's how you win against a full team of five as Maya. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, what's going on? Was here. We're going to do a uh, proper Maya tutorial today because uh, my team and I were experimenting with some uh, games with her last night. And um, my brother and a couple other people have asked me how to get out of the uh, lower tier ranks when you need to carry your whole team. So um, we're going to get right into the uh, proper tutorial. Alright, so let's talk about her emblem. Um, you're going to want to use the Marksman emblem with the Weapon Master if you have it unlocked. And you're also going to want to max out attack speed and physical attack. And for her build, we're going to go the first part of Reaper Machete into attack speed boots, into Scarlet Phantom, then into Demon Hunter's Sword, then into Berserker's Fury, and then finally you finish it off with the Wind of Nature. Alright, and I'll post her skills right here. Okay, her passive, Turbo. Each time Maya attacks a target, her attack speed will increase by 5%. Stacks up to 8 times and lasts for 4 seconds. So, 5 times 8, that's an extra 40% attack speed if you have it maxed out. It's really good for pushing towers and clearing jungle. And if you can build up your passive before a team fight, you'll already start with that 40% extra attack speed. Next, her fission shot. Maya splits her basic attacks into two arrows, dealing 5 plus 105% physical attack of physical damage to the main target and 30% of damage to others. It lasts for 4 seconds. Her basic attack only splits once. So what that means is your main attack will do 105% um, of damage plus 5 and she will have two extra projectiles that go to nearby enemies. Um, up to two extra, so three total, and those do 30% of her current physical damage. And her turbo stealth, this is her ultimate. Maya removes all debuffs and conceals herself for 1.5 seconds, and her movement speed is increased by 45%, while her attack speed is increased by 35% for six seconds. So what this means is you can use it to escape, because it'll take off stuns, it's like having a built-in purify and an invisibility. For 1.5 seconds, that's usually plenty of time to run away, or you can use it to run into a fight, since the attack speed lasts for 6 seconds, you can uh, use it before you fight to give you that extra boost before you go in. And her Reign of Arrows, this skill isn't particularly useful because it's extremely easy to escape out of. What she does is she shoots an AoE, um, and it rains down arrows, and if the enemy stands in it for 2 seconds, they will be frozen. Alright, here we go. You're going to want to start off with your Hunter's Knife, and you're also going to want to skill your AoE right off the bat. That way you can go take this camp right here, and that'll give you your red buff. And what that does is every time that you hit an enemy with your red buff, it will slow them down. And it will also do, I think it's between 100 and 210 points of pure damage. Um, so I'll show you how to take this out solo with Maya. You wait for it to spawn, you're going to put the arrow right in front of it, that way it walks into it. And then you don't want to hit Inspire yet, but you want to wait for your full stacks to be up. Then you hit Inspire, and you want to right click it, or um, you're going to want to basic attack it as you're walking away from it. That way it gets a few less attacks on it, um, off on you. I'm using a second one here because I want to save up some, some of my health, so I can immediately go to this creep up here, this little Ursa Bear, and um, take him down. And then right after that, you're going to want to go take Green Buff, or Squishy as I like to call it. And um, that'll get you your HP back. You're going to want to keep a close eye on mid, that they don't come down here while you're doing this, because you're going to be low on HP um, during this bit of the farming stage. And then after that, you can just go into lane, and you should be level 3, and you're going to want to put the rest of your skill points into her first skill. And I'm going to just poke him out of lane a little bit. Um, I definitely got a little bit too close, but since... Uh, 
since one of you uh, backed me up, we were able to get that. Um, I wouldn't have dedicated to it because he's an extremely hard hero to kill, Uranus is, early on. And uh, now we hit level 4, and uh, we see somebody trying to gank. It's uh, just a Wan Wan, and I don't believe that she's level 4 yet, so we should be relatively safe. But Kufra's right behind her, so we're gonna, we're gonna just back up and play even safer. Yeah, the safer that you can play with Maya at the early stages of the game, the better. It looks like we'll have to do some early defending, which is unfortunate, because it'll mess up our farm. But uh, maybe we can get the... Maybe we can get our teammates to uh, come assist us. And I do have ultimate if need be. And there's four, four or five bottom. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna ult on out of here. And then I'll turn on this if uh, Ruby can catch. Okay, that was bad. Move on Ruby, pulling him toward me like that. That's okay. I'm gonna regen, and while they're all messing around bottom, I'm gonna go steal another jungle creep, and then I'm gonna go push mid lane. I'm not near strong enough to fight yet. Um, so I'm just gonna have to let them battle it out while um, they're making space for me to farm other lanes um, All right, then you want to so you want to get your nimble blade first and I messed this up a little bit And then you want to go right into attack speed boots because you need that move speed and that extra Attack speed um, for Maya very very desperately it helps it works so well with um, all of her other skills and I messed that up because I didn't hit him with the first couple of uh AoE arrows, so he didn't get frozen. That should be okay, because I've got enough health to uh, tank a couple hits of his, and uh, then I'll take the health from him after he dies. Alright, then you want to go speed boots first, and then you're going to want to get your 10% attack speed dagger, which I don't recall what that's called. And sadly, I can't defend this well, because I'm only level 5, and they're, uh, they're being really aggressive. Yeah, I'm just going to ult out of there, because there's, there's no sense in trying to chance it yet. Since I'm, yeah, I've only got 1,500 farm. And it looks like they're a squad, so that's cool. 1v5 squad, let's do it. Sadly, that does mean probably later game they're going to be good at rotating. But they have three tanks and a 1-1. So as soon as I get the uh, tank killer, which is the uh, demon edge sword, demon hunter sword, um, I will be able to do quite a bit of damage to their whole team. And uh, now I'd like to think about stealing the turtle, because I've got inspire and I've got my ult almost ready. And uh, Maya can just shred through the turtle with ease um, and they're gonna get a little scary here because Uranus and uh, Belleric are really difficult heroes to kill um, but I'm gonna try to sneak in here and uh, get this turtle so once again you want to build up all eight of your passive stacks and then you want to ultimate and inspire and look at the turtles health just deplenish uh, de very very quickly I'm getting a little low myself but that's okay because I should get most of my health most of my health back after I kill the turtle and I get that very nice shield buff. Now I see them being super deep right here, so I'm gonna go in and try to get a double off on this. Belarek is very hard to kill solo because he has his passive which shoots spikes out at nearby enemies that attack him. So since I have such a high attack speed, it's difficult to kill him, but I saw that they were low. So you wanna make little capitalizations like that as often as you can. And now we're just gonna go back bottom and keep farming. Um, Wan Wan's not gonna be able to push, so I don't know why she's so far forward. Um, but that tells me that I can probably push bottom lane safely. And I might be able to uh, sneak the tower before I get out of here. And uh, if you saw there, I ran to the crab as fast as I could to keep up my passive stacks. Because now when I get onto the tower, I will have full passive stacks. And that will help me uh, push down the tower much, much quicker. Now I've got Inspire and Ult, so if he, if he were to chase me there, I could have uh, popped both and probably gotten the kill off on him. But I'd like to go get my uh, red buff, and then continue to push bottom lane. And I'm going to do some uh, MCL videos later today of uh, my squad and I. Um, those might come up tomorrow, but I hope you enjoy those, because we're going to be trying some uh, new strats that we've been talking about. And um, it might work very well. So hopefully we'll take our first MCL uh, championship this, uh, this weekend. That'd be super dope. All right, so I see that they're all middle and top, so this gives me perfect opportunity to come push tower. Um, I'm gonna use my split shot to clear this creep wave super quickly, and that's what it does. It splits your arrows off into uh, extra attacks, but her main arrow, the one that's got a slightly bigger animation, it does 105% extra damage, plus I think like five, just a little bit. All right, so that's gonna be a tower. I see that they're still messing around top, 
And uh, the next item that we're going to build is the Scarlet Phantom. You're going to want to go right into that. I shouldn't have bought the uh, um, Vampire Mallet yet, but that's okay, because yeah, they're going to ping me, but I really don't care. I've got ultimate, okay, Bellerix here, so I'm going to back off and I'm going to go to Fen Mid, and on the way I'm going to take this creep and this creep, just to keep my farm steady and keep it up. Um, you want to be farming as much as you can early game with Maya. It's super, super crucial to just farm, farm, farm. That way when an enemy does try to come face you, you're able to just obliterate them. And you don't really want to fight before you have your uh, Scarlet Phantom either. So, there's that. And I'm playing defensive because they are a squad, so if they are miking, they're going to have a lot easier time coordinating ganks. Um, which is scary because I'm super, super squishy as Maya. Just a big old glass cannon. And uh, they all died top, except for Guinevere, um, but I think I can push middle tower. And so I think we already lost tier one top. Okay, we didn't, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna go try to turtle again. I've got Scarlet, Scarlet Phantom. Sadly, my red buff is about to go away, but since I have full stacks here, I'm going to uh, ult and inspire to take down turtle because that'll push my team's net worth just insanely high. And since I haven't seen them make use of this blue buff, I'm going to take it. Then I'm going to take red buff. And then I'm going to try to push tier 2 bottom. And... What What do you mean surrender? What do you mean surrender? Look at the net worth of our team. We're 2k ahead. And they're like the worst squad I've ever seen. All 5v1 them. Just you watch. So we're going to want to be careful because Wan Wan might come up in my jungle to farm. And at this point she might be a little bit scary. Um, I hope Guinevere doesn't go on that. Because if she gets ulted by one one, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna take crab. And then I'm gonna go back and uh, push the creep wave. And then I'm gonna go farm jungle and push mid. So as soon as you see that your farm's about to run out, you're gonna wanna think, okay, where do I wanna go next? How do I wanna get there in a way that will help me farm? And uh, I like this engagement because I just took their tower. So I'm gonna ult, and then I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna focus on Valir first. Then I'm going to focus on Kufra, and then I'm going to continue to push. Uh, the reason that I went on uh, Valir first is because he's got an intense amount of AoE. I'm going to focus on Maya. Um, I should have clicked her on my uh, right hand bar side, but that's okay. We're going to get her anyway before she ulted. Um, and then we're going to go take their purple buff, but it's not up yet, so that's fine. Um, I should have clicked on Maya's uh, hero picture in my uh, right above my skill icons, or on Wan Wan's. That way I could have... Uh, Instantly uh, distracted her. Yeah, I didn't want to go for Bellaric because I've got things under tower, so I'm just going to take tower. Then I'm going to come take this red buff because that Guinevere's not farmed enough, so I don't care. And then I'm going to go take their jungle. And then I'm going to take the crab and possibly our top jungle. See what I mean? You're always trying to look at the minimap, seeing what, what little dots are ready to go. Like, green buff looks like it's ready. Lord's almost ready. Um... They're in a bad position right now, so I might want to put pressure on their lanes and then go gank middle. Oh, Uranus is here. He doesn't stand a chance now, though. And uh, I see that there's three there. I see the Valir is super low, so I'm going to go in on this. I'm going to ult, I'm going to inspire, and I'm going to take Kufur right down. Uh, he ulted me, but he didn't throw me to the wall. And now I'm going to go for one one. She should die in a couple hits. Oh, okay, I wasn't fast enough to get to her, but that's okay. Um, since three of them are dead, though, I'm going to try Lord. I don't have... <laughs> Why is this guy so mad? I'm winning the game for him. Uh, I don't have uh, ultimate, but I have enough lifesteal, and I've got the squishy that I should be able to uh, take Lord down by myself relatively soon. Yep, there we go. Um, you want to be careful. If you, if you stand too far to the side of Lord Pit, he won't aggro to you. He won't come and straight up attack you. He'll walk out. So you want to uh, kind of time it when you're planning on uh, on walking away from him. That way he doesn't hit you, but you'll still have enough time to uh, to kill him. Because uh, if you just stand right next to him, chances are he's going to kill you. And um, I see that they're kind of grouped up mid, but I'd like to get another item before I officially fight. Um, I'd really like to uh, get my Wind of Nature, because once I pop that, I'll be immune to Wan Wan's attacks, which is going to be very good. And uh, since Lord's pushing middle, and my team, their team, I mean, is completely not paying attention to my push top. 
they're there as five, I might be able to just sneak into the base and win the game here. And that's really what it's all about when you play Maya. So I've got ultimate, I've got inspire. I'm gonna ultimate, I'm gonna inspire, and I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna try to just shred their base. Yep, there it goes, straight down. That's how you win against a full team of five as Maya. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, um, let me know. Let me know what I can do better and different. And I hope you guys had a good time. And as always, GLHF. Good luck, have fun.